Okay, well, this, this afternoon we're, we're here with uh, with uh, Jim Lukachevsky. He just finished wrapped up a session with the Texas School Public Relations Association. We had a um, a, a session that um, a day long professional development session, and um, one of the things that uh, that you addressed earlier this morning had to deal with um, eradicating negative language. And I was wondering if you could kind of speak to to how that uh, helps in um, in its effect on crisis management. The, the, the importance of language choice, I mean, that's really what public relations people are about. We're in charge of the words. And in crisis situations and other urgent situations, what gets us into trouble uh, so often is the urge to say things in a negative way. We respond to a question, well, that's not how we do it. Or it isn't that our it's not our culture. Or we wouldn't do it that way. Something like that. And it, the, the impact of the negative words goes well beyond just the words as we speak them. They tend to have this lingering effect on the people we use them towards. And the problem is that these negative languages and, and word choices don't say anything. If I tell you, you know, um, I don't agree with what you're saying, well, what's happened? Well, now you know we have a disagreement, which is not helpful. And I prob you probably have a problem with me just saying that to you. And what, I, what I've done is I've not communicated. Point is, what I should say is, look, here's what I think we should do. Okay? Whatever you say to me, even if I hate what you say to me, my point is, what is the most important thing to communicate? And that's what we're going to do. This is the problem in crisis because leaders spend a lot of time either denying things or talking about things that they're not interested in having and seeing happen or things we don't want to do. My advice always is, let's just talk singly about what we plan to do, what we plan to change, what we plan to accomplish. That lines people up, they know what their assignments are, and a lot of bad things are avoided when you avoid negative language. So to me, the first discipline of leadership is always being a positive person, meaning essentially eradicating the use of negative language so the world can move ahead in a much more effective and useful way. Fantastic. Thank you very much.